Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to the video on this 2014 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Uh, sorry for the rain noise in the background, it is a uh, metal roof over our heads here. Uh, we're just going to give you a quick overview of this uh, Wrangler here. Starting off up front, you can see that it does have uh, these nice black inserts into the grille up here. Just gives it sort of an accent off of the rest of the silver. It is the standard uh, seven slot uh, Jeep grille there uh, with a uh, black molded lower bumper with the fog lights laid into that. Coming around the side, uh, even though this is a 14, it's super low miles. I'll give you the exact miles when we get inside. But you are still riding on the uh, factory BF Goodrich mud terrain tires there. Uh, those are, uh, I'd say, at least half tread still, right around half tread. Uh, coming back to the side, you see your standard uh, Wrangler badging there and the matching ribbon tire in the back. You have your full-size spare there. Down low, you do have a uh, nice tow package there with the four-prong trailer hookup for the light lighting wiring on trailers. The tow hook there. Coming on the inside of this vehicle, it is a manually adjustable driver's seat. You can see your tilt, uh, tilt adjustment here and your forward and backward adjustments located on the bar down here. Uh, taking a look, this car does come with two keys. All the cars we sell here at All Things Automotive are sold with two keys. On this car, that's about a $250 value if you were to buy that second key. Uh, before we get in, you can see that it is power locks and the power windows are also located over here in standard Jeep fashion in the center console. So I said in the outside uh, that the miles are super low. As you can see there, you do have 22,084 miles on it, which is pretty crazy uh, for a 2014. The average person drives 12 to 15,000 miles a year. Uh, so average miles uh, probably be close to 80K. Uh, that change oil light just came on there. That's actually not the case. We just changed the oil. You can see that they just forgot to reset the light. I'm not sure how to reset that light. Um, coming over here, standard radio controls there, power windows and locks, climate controls down here. It's worth noting that this Jeep does have air conditioning. Sort of a funny thing to say in 2019, but they do make Wranglers without air conditioning. Uh, coming below that, you have your traction control, uh, hill descent control, four ways, the button to turn the uh, AC converter on and off, as well as your four-wheel drive selector and uh, your gear selector here. Emergency brake located in a standard fashion down here. I mentioned on the way in but you do have your electronic sway bar disconnect and your axle locker that is the uh, the standard thing that makes it uh, a regular Rubicon it does have the Dana 44 front and rear axles on this the last part of the video here is a relatively short video here but I'd like to uh, show you any damage or defects that this may have uh, being such a low mileage unit uh, I don't really see much uh, coming up in the front there are some really small minor chips uh, in the front of the uh, grill here Right around both the rim and the tire are pretty clean there's no uh, cuts or anything or scrapes on the rim uh, still got your nice little Jeep uh, sticker down here going back the sides not really seeing much chipping or uh, nothing to indicate any kind of abuse actually if you look underneath it the frame underneath is super clean you can see their stickers are still on the frame rails there I'll let you take a peek here all of that looks really good no rust uh, if you look up under the body there, you actually can't see the body line for the uh, body stuff there because of this bar. Um, but there's the, the vehicle is free, free of rust on the frame and the body. And around the back, nothing to note here either. Uh, overall, it looks like there's a little, it's either dirt or a little minor scratching in that black molding, but nothing, uh, nothing big. Overall, the vehicle is very, very clean. Uh, obviously not used... Uh, hard at all um, a lot of these you know people use them for mud blogging and stuff like that this one does not seem like that was the case in fact there's no chips and everything looks very clean if you'd like to come out and give it a test drive you can stop out and see us at 21518 great cove road mcconnellsburg pennsylvania visit us online at thomasata.com or give us a call at 717-485-4224 thank you very much for watching the video